I'm so happy all four talented women get to make a finale collection. You are all moving forward to the finale. <laughs> this is an extraordinary turn of events. I guess we should have seen an all-female finale coming. I don't know if it's a flower. It really was the season of the vagina. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, that means no after show guests. So I'm gonna talk to judges Brandon Maxwell and Elaine Welteroff. Well, my Spanx are off. I'm out here wiling out. Oh, get ready, honey. Who was supposed to stand set up behind? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, what is happening? Maybe Elaine. Guys. Can we clear the set? We're trying to start a show, please. Hi. Hi. Hi I just need to let my husband know I'm going to be late because I'm on the after show. Hi. One second. OK, yes. Welcome to Woo! the after show. We have two celebrity guests. Oh. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that while you're here mm -hmm. is because no designer went home tonight. When you needed a designer, and I'm happy to fill the void. Exactly. Do you hear the designers celebrating behind yeah. us? They've been screaming for like They're two celebrating. hours. I know, two they, hours. I've literally. never heard so much screaming. <laughs> okay, listen, I would like to talk about the decision of keeping four designers was a yeah. real thing that you guys wanted as mm -hmm. well as I. 100%. Yeah. People might think that the producers are being like, you have to keep four designers, but I want you guys to really explain to the world that that's not happening, right? The producers do not tell us what to do, just FYI. Ultimately, we're trying to decide who's going to go to Fashion Week. So today, truthfully, was actually a weirdly magical moment. It was like four women on the runway for the first time who had very clear points of view. And I think there was a point towards the end after we had hauled, heard all of them that we looked at each other. And I feel like we all telepathically were like, well, they can't go home. We couldn't do that to America. We need some good news. We've made our decision. You are all moving forward to the finale. Congratulations! Are we gonna be honest? Wait, do we have my car? You do not need your car. I feel like it's actually cool for them to be able to see behind the scenes how we judge and like to be able to show the card. Hello. But what you Elaine. don't see behind the scenes what is you, Christian Elaine, coming in every 15 minutes. Yeah, the producers don't tell us what to do. This is not an in-camera But Christian show. Siriano does. He's got opinions about everything. Am I right, right or wrong? Over You're here. You're 100%. OK, let me tell you how this normally goes. We do the challenge, and then we score it as it goes down the runway. Number is one to five. Nina yeah. is first out of the gate. She's like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then I'm somewhere in between <laughs> the ladies. No, no. Meanwhile, Elaine is writing the next best-selling novel. Can you just show me one card? Sure. Like, the amount of But words. why are the cards a whole thing? Wow. I am a writer, so I do Ooh. write novels. This is for Christina. I said comfort is the new luxury as people want comfort and they're thinking about cost per wear. Because if Agreed. we're going to invest in a piece of fashion, it better work Peak. overtime yeah. for us, you know? Brandon, yours has nothing on it. Brandon has literally. literally and this gives you like blank. a peek inside our brain. Like, what do you mean wait, I have nothing wait, in my you, brain? Wait. Truthfully, hand to God, I did not score today because from a designer's perspective, I wanted to hear from them. So you want to score a strike? I want to know, like, if it, it had a personal story for them. Interesting. This is really good, by the way. Isn't it great? Yeah. Actually, Bob, best drink of the entire yep. season. Cheers first, to Bob. First drink. Is Bob yeah. real? You know you have really pretty eyelashes? Thank you. Like, they're maybe your best feature. Hi. They're so oh, pretty. Remember when you wanted to come on my Amber show? We're the worst guests you've ever had. We're actually really all friends when the cameras are not rolling, the three of us. But when the cameras are on, we don't agree on anything. Right. But we did all agree that these designers are on another level. They I blew agree. us away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that there is a depth this season. Because people went through so much. People and went through so much. And they put it all out here on the runway, every challenge. They really did. They're fighters, they were resilient. There's a dignity, there's an elegance. We need this imagery. Honestly, I felt uplifted every single day I came to work on this show. This is why we're here, to find people like you who can do this. And there's so much to love about these four women. All right, I want to talk about each of them. Let's look at Chastity. This is her first look. She was in the bottom. But I think the look tonight gets pretty stunning. I know that there is a lot of very famous actresses, musicians that would 
pull that dress and wear it. I deeply, deeply respect Chastity. You when, had her in the bottom so much. Right, but you know what? Some of the greatest designers have been in the bottom in bad reviews, and the reason she's in the bottom is to learn. She has not had the experience. She didn't go to SCAD. Yeah. She didn't do all those kind of things. But what yeah. I loved about her is that she's willing to learn. The thing that I'm looking for is can you be the best? Is there a commitment to being the best? And yeah. I think she absolutely possesses that. All right, we're gonna move on to Coral. Let's look at Coral's look that she made in the first challenge, and let's see her look from this challenge. I thought it was perfect. Watching her come into her own over the course of this season has Beautiful. been extremely moving. I think she's so talented. Were you, like, kind of frustrated with us because she kept being safe? There was, like, two challenges. The floral challenge, and then the menswear look that she did also was so cool. Oh, my God, the tracksuit? Yeah. Missed opportunity. I know. She's like the underdog. Okay, Christina's. Wow, I don't remember this. I love that I like she just colors. does like shapes that are just like not supposed to happen, but, but she makes it work. I think at the finale point, this is usually where people pull out all the stuff. That's true. And it's usually like some big gown. So I thought it was actually a refreshing take for the last challenge. My first note was bold choice dash confident. You want to hear a secret? Yeah. Please. So she told me backstage. You tell me every day the word, you edit, edit. I thought you mean add it. <laughs> she thought for 13 challenges, I was saying oh. add, add, it. add it, add something That is else. so funny. All right, our last one. Let's see Chantal's. Wow. Wow. Didn't even realize. Remember this suit? Interesting that she started and ended with a suit. I think that was the point. I think she wanted really? to make the best version of it. There were fit issues, but I do think that this is an innovative idea, and at the same I, time, I would also wear that. I know. She seems like she is ready for the fight. Aren't you glad I saved her? Yes, oh I am. Oh my god. Christian. You're welcome. That's why we do this job. It's like to see people yeah. get the opportunity to live out their dream. To end the season, I couldn't have asked for better guests. Tell me more. Thank you for being on my show. I'm gonna talk to some of our favorite models from the season. It Next. better be Mimi and Didi. It's Mimi and Didi. I love you guys, and I'm we gonna miss you. you every day. We have I'm our really numbers, we'll talk to you soon. Guys, I'm gonna miss Ooh. you. All right, my drink is not refreshed. Chris said need another one. That's fine. Take a drink. Yeah. Cheers to Mimi and Didi, our favorite models. <laughs> you guys went through a lot this season. So many great looks, so many non so great looks. My hat is off to both of you. And I think you really brought the clothes to life, which is what the designers need. It's definitely a model boot camp. Even today, we had to walk on the fog, which was very slippy and slidey. But through it all, we still have to remain professional and just really deliver and I still continue to do my spins. Didi, what was your favorite look? It would definitely be the flower challenge. I mean, that suit was perfect. It was everything. It was everything. Like, it was so luxurious. Looked very liquid. Come down the runway, so I yeah. love that one. Okay, Mimi, what was your favorite look of the season? My favorite look of the season is the one It hurt me so much. Oh, the avant-garde The avant-garde. Got all cut up? Yeah. Because underneath all the yeah. wire. Oh, all the blood came out, but I don't want to stop the production. Oh, no, Mimi. Mimi's a warrior. Oh, but you look fabulous <laughs> in the medic chair. <laughs> She's amazing. You went through a lot. You had your face covered twice, and you got hurt tonight. Yes. You had a mannequin fall on you. It's oh okay, it happened God. to me too, Mimi. So like that in itself, <gasps> no matter what you do, kill me. So Mimi, because I think out of all the models, you're probably the only one that got hurt very many times and you kept working. So we have given you, what Bob, is this is your purple heart Thank you in so your fur, much. in your fur. And I hope it fits, <gasps> it's stretchy. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my gosh. This is the Purple Heart of Honor for continuing Thank your you service. So much. And it is out of the fur. They cut your legs up. So it's full circle. Thank you. All right. Mimi Didi, let's hit it. The show's over. We need a cocktail. Come on. Cheers. Let's oh, go. God. I'm exhausted. That's a wrap. <laughs>